It's all about power. Grabbing it, keeping it, using it. Power is our currency, our DNA, our god. We control the world. We provide the blueprint and we give the instructions. We're the people in grainy photos on grassy knolls. We're the shadowy faces in smoky back rooms and darkened boardrooms. We're right here, hiding in plain sight, buying and selling favors. Blackmail, treason, deceit, these are our stock in trade. We work the magic of the drunken evenings with senators and chiefs of staff. We shake down demons and negotiate with sorcerers. We have stocks in hell and compromising photos of angels. We use any means necessary regardless of the cost because the world is a bad place and you can either do or get done. We're the Illuminati and we're not done. Good evening. Today, our fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom came under attack in a series of deliberate and deadly terrorist acts. The pictures of airplanes flying into buildings, fires burning, huge, huge structures collapsing, have filled us with disbelief, terrible sadness, and a quiet, unyielding anger. The search is underway for those who are behind these evil acts. I've directed the full resources of our intelligence and law enforcement communities to find those responsible and to bring them to justice. We will make no distinction between the terrorists who committed these acts and those who harbor them. And I pray they will be comforted by a power greater than any of us, spoken through the ages in Psalm 23. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I fear no evil, for you are with me. We know, because we, 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 we've seen what you've had to say on the subject, how you regard Bush and Blair's record uh, in the Middle East. Do you think Obama's no better? In many ways, he's worse. Uh, Why? I, I, I've been writing about it. I started writing about Why? it before the election. Why is he worse? Well, should we go through the details? Please. In the case of Afghanistan, uh, he's sharply escalated the war. This is threatening a breakup of Pakistan, which could be a catastrophe for the West. In fact, there's a quite an important article that just came out by uh, Anatoly Yevin, who knows Pakistan very well, whose uh, con his conclusion is that uh, uh, British and American soldiers are dying in Afghanistan uh, to make life more dangerous for Britain and the United States. Uh, namely because of the impact on uh, a potential breakup of Pakistan, which has both a huge number of nuclear weapons and a radical Islamic uh, development, both of them supported by the West, both, uh, and continue to be, uh, Obama is continuing to carry out actions which are threatening this. Let's go to, uh, uh, it, it, I've already talked about uh, his attitude toward Egypt, the usual one. Uh, follow the usual game plan, which I mentioned. Let's take Israel-Palestine. I mean, he, his position is shocking. He, uh, he He's refused to do... I mean, there was just a, a UN uh, Security Council resolution a few weeks ago in which uh, calling uh, on an ending of settlements, settlement expansion, and declaring the settlements illegal which is not even controversial. Well, Obama vetoed it uh, alone. A General Assembly resolution shortly before a similar of the United States and Israel and a couple of these other islands opposed it. You know. And this is the record all the way through. You famously said that uh, every American president since the Second World War would fail in the judgment as applied at Nuremberg and uh, therefore the same I didn't say not everybody was hanged at Nuremberg. I said if no, we believed in, was hanged, I, I said if we believed in the Nuremberg principles, yes. uh, every American president would be subject to them. What the decision would be, we'd have to check. Notice that this is the Nuremberg principles. 
not the trials. But Obama would fare no better were those principles applied to him. No, he's carrying out, uh, uh, carrying out a major war in Afghanistan. Uh, he's uh, supporting, he's directly, in, I mean, he's directly involved in uh, aggressive and criminal actions uh, carried out by Israel, for example. Uh, he's only been in office for two years, so he hasn't a chance to invade anyone yet. But his record is quite consistent with what's happened before. The system thinks you're stupid. They think you're morons. And I'm about to cover one of the biggest examples of this in modern history. One of the biggest hoaxes I've ever seen. Anyone who's followed the news for the last few decades, anyone who's researched admitted mainline history knows that Al-Qaeda was CIA created with the backing and support of the Saudi Arabians and the Israelis as well as Pakistani intelligence. And the Muslim brigades uh, being controlled by British intelligence goes back to Lawrence of Arabia. And then Hitler took over the Middle East during the first few years of World War II and they went over to his control. But the hoax is that in the attack against the Serbs to take over Serbia, it was admitted Al-Qaeda and Osama bin Laden running those operations. And then NATO came in and bombed all of Serbia and they were forced to give up one third of their land basically to Albanian-backed Muslim rebels who were calling themselves Al-Qaeda. Then, of course, we have uh, the attacks of 9-11 and the Newsweek headlines about hijackers trained at U.S. bases and the dean of the defense language school coming out and saying that they were trained at U.S. bases. And then you have uh, the Times of London as well reporting on the airlift of evil. Months after the Afghanistan war started, U.S. military and British military captured thousands of top Al-Qaeda and Taliban commanders, and they would be ordered to release them and fly them out into Pakistan to start the next wave of destabilization. So Al-Qaeda, on record, is a CIA slash British slash Israeli slash Saudi Arabian creation, and they're used all over the world. And then you add to that Fox News AP last October 2010 reporting Anwar al awlaki the guy they're now saying is more powerful than Osama bin Laden, trained in the U.S., ran the underwear bombing, uh, the Christmas Day event, ran the Fort Hood shooting, ran the Times Square attack, uh, the list goes on and on, the shoe bomb. He's always handling these patsies, and it turns out he's secretly hanging out at the Pentagon when he's been on the most wanted list and getting orders and having dinner with the Secretary of the Army and top brass while he's on the news as the head of Al-Qaeda. Now, you add to this hoax now that the openly Western-funded rebels in the east of Libya, the point is the West overthrew Egypt and its own puppet to the east of Libya. They have brought down Tunisia. Now, it's admitted that British Special Forces were inside eastern Libya even before the latest rebellion started. So Al-Qaeda rebels, and it's admitted that the head of the Libyan rebels was trained by the CIA for decades in Virginia, and he admits that he's working with Al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda! And so I have to get up here and either say no to this hoax and expose the facts or say, I'm a bad American. Because I refuse to say that now Al-Qaeda are freedom fighters and great people. I must refuse uh, to be ignorant and not face the facts of history. But the average gullible person out there who buys into the system will make the decision to say, oh, I guess Al-Qaeda is good. It's like 1984. We've never been at war with East Asia. And the next day, we've always been at war with East Asia. And if you pointed out that, well, you said we were at war with them yesterday, but we're not at war today, and that we were never at war, then you get arrested in that system. And that's basically where this country and where the West is going, where the system thinks we're so stupid that Western intelligence is in the east of Libya, using radical Muslim Al-Qaeda backed out of Saudi Arabia and arms out of Saudi Arabia and Egypt to destabilize Gaddafi. Gaddafi then fights armed force trying to overthrow the government, and our media calls them protesters. Protesters who had tanks and missile launchers and Western weapons. Oh, the poor protesters. And the media lied and said he strafed protesters. Turned out that wasn't true. The media lied and said that he'd, he'd run to Venezuela to try to give the rebels support, think they would win. 
But Muammar Gaddafi is independent and has tried to build a strong Africa outside of the New World Order. And that's why he must be brought down. He doesn't have the international private central bank running his country. They have their own central bank. And that's why the system is doing this. And they think we have no memory where they're telling us Al-Qaeda is horrible. We've got to take all your liberties in America because they may attack you any minute. The end of the Bill of Rights, freedom is dead. America surrenders and gives up all its rights to Homeland Security to keep us safe because of Al-Qaeda. But then Al-Qaeda, who wants to overthrow the secular Arab leader, Gaddafi, is being brought in to do this. And then we're being told it's humanitarian and we've got to bomb them and attack them to protect them. I mean, think about it, folks. Amr al alaki the number one guy under bin Laden, secretly hanging out at the Pentagon. The Taliban and Al-Qaeda being flown out to safety in the first few months of the Afghan war to start the next crisis. Al-Qaeda being used to attack the Serbs. When the Serbs fight back, oh, it's humanitarian, we've got to bomb them. They just move Al-Qaeda around all over the world, call them humanitarian freedom fighters if anybody resists them, and then the UN and NATO comes in and bombs the daylights out of them. But at least with the attack uh, in the 90s against Serbia, they went and got congressional authorization for force. At least Bush with his illegal wars, because they were still wars of aggression, but he went and got the Congress to sign off on it, wasn't engaged in that form of brazen treason. Obama, less than 48 hours after the UN gave that resolution to invade, opened in front of everyone. He ordered the U.S. military to start bombing and firing cruise missiles when out in the open, the UN had given the order and Obama hadn't even consulted Congress. This is a huge issue that's taking place here, my friends. And I hope you'll research the fact that Al-Qaeda is an arm of the globalist. Al-Qaeda is an arm of the New World Order. Al-Qaeda is a system that the New World Order uses to menace civilizations into giving up their liberties in the name of protection and also to go stir up revolutions and wars to then pose as freedom fighters so the globalists have an excuse to come in and take over countries. This is 21st century imperialism and Al-Qaeda is the key set piece on this game of chess to bring us into the world government. They are a creation of the private banking cartels who are waging wars against the nation state and all basic liberties that defend the rights of the indigenous populations of the nation states. Al-Qaeda is CIA, is MI6, is Mossad, is Saudi Arabian intelligence, and they've caught British SAS dressed up like Al-Qaeda sh shooting at police in Basra to get Sunnis and Shiites killing each other. I mean, Al-Qaeda is the Swiss army knife of destabilization. They are that magic go-to tool that's used to foment the crisis so the globalists have the excuse to offer the solution. We've broken down one of the biggest modern ongoing hoaxes in history where you're un-American if you don't support the freedom fighters of Al-Qaeda. Well, I don't support them, and I don't agree with what Ronald Reagan said about them, saying that they were founding father material. I don't like Al-Qaeda. You may hate me because I don't love Al-Qaeda. I'm not going to apologize. I'm sorry. I hate Al-Qaeda, and I hate their handlers even more. My fellow citizens, at this hour, American and coalition forces are in the early stages of military operations to disarm Iraq, to free its people, and to defend the world from grave danger. We act to protect thousands of innocent people in Kosovo from a mounting military offensive. We act to prevent a wider war, to defuse a powder keg at the heart of Europe that has exploded twice before in this century with catastrophic results. 
and we act to stand united with our allies for peace. By acting now, we are upholding our values, protecting our interests. Innocent civilians were beaten, imprisoned, and in some cases killed. Peaceful protests were forcefully put down. Once again, Gaddafi chose to ignore the will of his people and the international community. Instead, he launched a military campaign against his own people. And there should be no doubt about his intentions, because he himself has made them clear. For decades, he's demonstrated a willingness to use brute force through his sponsorship of terrorism against the American people, as well as others, and through the killings that he has carried out within his own borders. Despite our repeated warnings, Gaddafi continued his reckless policy of intimidation his relentless pursuit of terror. He counted on America to be passive. He counted wrong. Just two hours ago, Allied Air Forces began an attack on military targets in Iraq and Kuwait. Our armed forces joined our NATO allies in airstrikes against Serbian forces responsible for the brutality in Kosovo. Coalition forces have begun striking selected targets of military importance to undermine Saddam Hussein's ability to wage war. The UN Security Council passed a strong resolution that demands an end to the violence against citizens. It authorizes the use of force. We act to protect thousands of innocent people in Kosovo from a mounting military offensive. We are determined to knock out Saddam Hussein's nuclear bomb potential. We will also destroy his chemical weapons facilities. Self-defense is not only our right, it is our duty. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless America. Thank you very much. Attacked us and killed 3,000 of our citizens. Before we started the freedom agenda in the Middle East, they were... What did Iraq have to do with what? The attack on the World Trade Center. Nothing. 